How do you like my radioactive rock? My kids and I, found it, in a tailings pile, at a disused uranium mine, here in China. Okay, I admit, that the thumbnail and the title of this video, were a little overstated, but you are here now, so perhaps you might continue to watch this little video. And just like that, in the blink of an eye, the People's Republic of China, became a nuclear power. But getting there, was no easy task. For starters, at the beginning of the project, China seemed to have had almost no known uranium deposits, from which it could create the fissile materials it needed. So began, one of the world's largest geological surveys, ever conducted in human history. What they found, was a small deposit, of fairly poor quality, uranium ore, in a rural village called Sha Juan, in Guangdong province. This small mine, at the time, was one of the most secret sites in China. Now, over 60 years later, the site is of little national interest, and this small mine, was finally closed, in the 1980s. Today, this site has a small museum, to commemorate the significant role, that this little mine played in the history of the People's Republic. It is only a four hour drive from where we live, so we decided to pay a visit. The museum has free admission, which is actually a fairly normal thing in China. There was only actually one piece of genuine, uranium ore on display here. We brought ultraviolet flashlights with us, and here, you can see how the ore is fluorescent, under UV illumination. The ore extracted from here, was of a very low grade, and it seems that this sample, was actually one of the more concentrated examples from this mine. When comparing the ore that came from here, with examples from a Congolese mine, the differences are rather striking. The fact that the Chinese, managed, to turn this small amount of low-grade ore, into their first atom bomb, shows how determined they were to succeed. We were also, determined to find some radioactive rocks for ourselves, so, armed with Geiger counters, we went for a walk behind the museum, and in the direction of the abandoned mine. We found a tailings heap, and decided to explore it. I'm pretty certain, that this sign says that it is okay to do that. And here we are, all having a jolly old time, in an old uranium mine. Soon it was time to head home, with our treasure. We checked everyone was free from any radioactive particles, using a very sensitive, scintillation detector, and washed hands and shoes, before we got back into the car for the journey home. Here is the most radioactive rock that we found. The activity level was up to 45 microsieverts per hour in direct contact with the detector, so whilst a little care is needed, with storage and handling, it is not a dangerous object. Our rock did not contain enough uranium for any visible fluorescence under UV light, so I tried to look under a microscope, but again, the concentrations were too low, for a green fluorescence glow to be noticed. We plan to go back to Sha Juan again, next time we will be a bit better equipped. Hopefully we can find some even more interesting rocks. Anyway, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed my little video, or at least found some parts of it interesting. If you want to see more of this kind of video, you could always press the subscribe button. This is not a commercial channel, nor will it ever be, 
so I can say what I want, and YouTube's algorithm can go and get Thank you for your time.